Welcome to this series all about using After Effects for the first time. The idea for this series came about during the first run of Macon. Not anything directly messaged to me, just a few posts I spotted from new users saying that free tutorials were fine, but they all assumed a basic knowledge of After Effects. This triggered my own memories of first getting hold of AE in the year 2000. It was a heady time. YouTube didn't exist, iPhones were five years away, the internet was accompanied by this sound, and not being able to make phone calls at the same time. Yep, that was a thing. And I got to try After Effects for the first time, and got nowhere. I'd been using Adobe's Premiere and Photoshop, and animated basic lens flares and overlaying still graphics. But the mistake I made was thinking that After Effects was Premiere, a video editor, but with better effects. It's not. It took me about six weeks to realise it's closer to Photoshop with time. Which gets confusing at times because now you can use Photoshop to animate too. Just not as well. This series may well be too slow for you or cover stuff you already know. Congratulations! Feel free to skip out or just jump to the video you do need. I'm assuming anyone watching this has opened AE for the first time. So, that said, let's open After Effects and take a look around. This is roughly what you should see, it's the standard layout. The window drop down lets you turn things off, but for now make sure that you are able to see the effects and presets, the preview, the composition, the effects controls, the project, and the timeline. The first thing we need to do is add a video. Grab anything you have, don't worry about what it is. I'm using a shot from Jeff Smith's Wet Paint Productions. It's a YouTube comedy series they have called Ronnie Redshirt. It's worth checking out. So the video imports and then just sits in the project window. And this is the first stumbling block. You see, like Premiere Pro, but unlike Photoshop, I need to create a sequence for the video to sit in before I can do anything. I know what I just said about it being more like Photoshop, but this is the exception that proves that rule. After Effects doesn't call its sequences sequences. It calls them compositions, or comps for short. I could go to Composition, New Composition, and create my comp here. But that involves me knowing the duration, the frame rate, the size, all sorts. So instead, I'm going to drag my video onto this icon, which creates a composition which matches my video for length, resolution, and frame rate. Unlike a video editor, I have a fixed length for my comp. Adding another video after this one won't make it increase. To do that, I have to edit the composition by going to Composition, Composition Settings. If I leave that for a moment and scrub along the timeline, see how I'm doing that? You can see that there are several takes in this video, but I only want one. So let's double click on the video layer, and now the preview window has switched to show the original video as it appears on the timeline. Here I can set in and out points. I can use page up and page down to move frame by frame. And when I click on the set in point icon, see what happens? The video jumps forward in the timeline, so that the in point is the, still the starting point of the video layer, which isn't always the same as zero seconds in the timeline. In this shot, the middle guy is going to get zapped by a phaser. Now Jeff only shot one second of footage of him in place. He then steps out of place and the shot continues. So, I'm going to set my out point. See the timeline change? We'll need to continue the shot with the rest. To do that, we'll close our preview of the video. You'll see the preview window stacks all the timelines and videos, a bit like Premiere Pro. Damn it, all right, forget the whole thing I said earlier about Photoshop. So now we have our one second of footage. We can either drag the video back in as a new layer, or we can duplicate the existing video. For now, I'm going to drag in the original again. I think it better illustrates what's going on. So I drag it in, and like in Photoshop, it appears as its own layer. I can move it back and forth through time, and holding Shift, I can snap it to the start of the end of the previous video. Now I'll double click again to open it in the preview and set my in point. But I'm gonna show you something else. I'm not going to set my in point this way. So I'll close this preview window and return to the comp. And if I quickly select the first layer, do you see on the timeline the layer has its strong color bar, but also there's a 
faint outline, just a hint. This is the file's available duration. I can drag this to extend the video, which I don't want to do, but I can also use this to reduce the length of the video layer just by dragging. And I can still hold shift to have it snap to the current time indicator. So tweaking my edit a bit, middle guy turns really quickly. I can have him vanish and the others react. Now if I scrub along, you'll see I suddenly have black. That's because there's no video, which makes sense. The original was 17 seconds, and with my cuts, there's now only about four seconds. But the composition is still 17 seconds long. Let's use the hold shift trick to get the current time indicated to the end of the second video layer. Now click on the time in that preview window and copy that. Click OK. And now let's go to Composition, Composition Settings, and replace the duration with the copied time. Finally, for this video, let's see what we've got. Adobe used to call this RAM Preview. After Effects will go frame by frame, building up a video preview until it fills up the available RAM, or can preview the entire comp. These days, you can have different types of preview, which you can determine here. Spacebar, for me, will play any video and sound. Zero on the keypad will play video without sound, and period on the keypad will play audio only. So yeah, we've made a jump cut. Nothing special, but now you know how to handle video in After Effects, which is the first step to much cooler stuff.